Did you know that a well-designed entry can increase your home value by 10%? Let's find out how I transformed my from dull to luxury. Welcome to my complete entry demolition and remodel video, where I'll take you through my journey of renovating this essential part of my home. The entryway was that in need of makeover. In a nutshell, the outdated design made it an eyesore. Basically, we are ripping everything down. New floor tiles will be installed. All the walls are going to come down and we are going to replace them with new sheetrock. Demolition day was a messy affair, but also incredibly deliberating. Watching the old walls come down and the outdated material get hauled away was a huge relief. It was our chance to refresh and recreate the space that truly reflects our personality and our needs. Join me as I detail the step-by-step -step demolition process. The selection of the materials, the design choice I made to create a welcoming functional space. From the initial design plan to the final walkthrough, I will show you every step of the way. Now let's dive in. This entry door is huge and very heavy. It was customized and I was so excited when we got a call that it has been delivered. The main door was not giving me the vibes I wanted because it was very small and wide. You know, it was not really making any statement. And I wanted to put that, you know, that bold color that's going to make a statement in there. Right after the demolition, the first thing he did was to take out the old door. And what we're going to do is that we are going to extend the width of the door just so the new door can fit the area since that one is much bigger. So that is what the contractor was doing here. Oh, new door has been installed and see how elegant the entryway is looking right now. Oh my God. I so love, 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 love it. Truth be told, the pace at which my contractor works is so amazing. He is one serious guy that I have ever worked with. At this point, as you can see, the insulation ceiling and the floor has just begun and he's almost halfway through. As someone who is so obsessed with light, of course, I made some hard wiring for my wall sconces in the entryway. I can't wait to show you guys the final look. Like, it's going to be so beautiful. So those blue things you're seeing, those are the wall sconces in the entryway. One of the most exciting parts that my brain can really think is when all the walls are closed and everything come into light. The entryway is a high ceiling and before the project started, I had already envisioned how I wanted the ceiling, the floor and the walls to look like. As you all know, I always pay attention to my little details. Like I made in the formal living room, I made some huge twist in the ceiling and this time around, I'm going to make something different. You know, I really want the ceilings to look so amazing and different and if you've not watched how i remodeled my smart luxury living room i'm gonna leave the link at the end of this video in the playlist the ceiling is really coming out very nicely exactly how i wanted it we still have a lot to do on there you see those little holes i'm gonna put a recess light in there and some smart led light inside the back smash the like button and also don't forget to subscribe for more home decor and renovation videos like this just stay tuned for my second living room remodel what he is doing here is that i created a very small closet right at the entrance for our shoes because i don't like shoes coming into my home i often get this question a lot like how am i able to let my visitors take off their shoes politely especially if you have kids you don't want your kids to be picking up all those bacteria and germs so basically we are all doing this to protect ourselves and our family and your family as well so to cut a long story short this closet is purposely for my visitors myself and my family where our shoes are going to be pampered besties Kindly let me know about how you feel about the no-shoe rules and also if you want me to make a video on that as to how to go about it, your girl is just gonna deliver. Just leave me a comment below. Inside the closet is really gonna be fixed. So I'm gonna put some shelves, some light and it's gonna be so beautiful. And I love how the closet door really reflects the entry door. Can you spot the differences on the walls? No more popcorn ceilings. Like I am so excited that finally I am not gonna see those things because it was really annoying. But yep, yep, 
yep yep i'm feeling the vibe yo i'm feeling it now now the walls are all looking clean and this was the recess light i was talking about those little lights in there and i'm gonna put my chandelier in the middle and of course i'm here to put my wall sconces i am super 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 excited about the outcome these are the wall sconces i chose they are very huge and really makes a statement you know the entryway is the first thing that your visitors and your loved ones are going to see so you really have to pay attention to those areas and that's exactly what i did these wall sconces are hard wires it means that it's directly connected to the electricity so i don't have to recharge it or put any batteries in there the wall sconces came with some beautiful crystals that i'm gonna put them in in the part two of this video where i'm going to decorate the entryway this is another part of the entryway it's very small but i still paid attention to every little details i made sure the ceilings and the crown moldings were fixed i changed all the doors just to match or suit everything that i'm doing in the house so this is one part of the hallway and another part of the hallway i need to put all the crystals on the chandelier and guys how are you feeling the wall sconces i love the fact that it's hard warrior and one amazing thing is that i can change it to a daylight a bright white or a soft white depending on my mood and vibes wow the transformation is massive just pay attention to the floor walls and ceilings look at that i'm so in love with the outcome everything just turned out so beautifully i just can't wait to see how my strip light is gonna illuminate the ceiling i'm gonna do that myself i'll take my time and do that when it comes to crown moldings one thing i love about it is that it adds dimension and angles to any walls or door frames by doing this you add value to your home and it's something potential buyers always look for in their new homes so of course i changed all the crown moldings on the door the windows entrance everywhere even in the bottom like the baseboard i changed everything in the house i put new crown moldings and i'm loving it one trick is that if you feel like your house is outdated just try and change the crown moldings change every moldings in the house when you go to the store there are a lot of crown moldings make sure you're choosing the right one that fits your house don't just choose anything or anything cheap like get a good stuff and elevate your home and enjoy it like i always say it's a journey and thank you so much for sticking with me throughout the room model of my smart kitchen the luxury bathroom the formal room in the next video for clara vision i'm going to decorate the three parts of my entryway you're gonna love it trust me so stay tuned if you are new on this channel you are so welcome my name is getty elios and on this channel all we do is home decor interior designs and remodeling and my ogs thank you so much for sticking with me Again, Again, hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe for more home decor and interior designs like this. Click on the top screen to watch how I remodeled my smart luxury kitchen and a luxurious smart bathroom for my kids. See you in the next chapter and thank you so much for watching to this far. I really appreciate you all and you all means the world to me.